Hey guys, Jake from jakeshomeworkouts.com here with you today to talk about post-workout nutrition. Now you can get great results by working out alone, but your results will be even better if you optimize your nutrition. One of the components of that is post-workout nutrition. So that's what we're talking about today. Of course, um, basically the best thing that you can consume right after a workout is a mix of simple carbs and fast-acting protein. So this is why whey protein is very popular because whey protein is a fast digesting protein that gets into your system, replenishes the loss that you've just created by working out. The reason that you know, you choose that protein over other proteins because there are some other fast digesting proteins, but you want a protein to get in there and do its job quickly. Another popular protein that is sold is called casein protein, which is good for, which is slow digesting. Right after your workout, you want to replenish those nutrients, you want to immediately build up what you've broken down as fast as you can. The other thing that I said was simple carbs. The reason I say simple carbs, well usually simple carbs are seen as very evil and you don't want them. And that's true most of the time. But right after your workout you've actually burned a lot of glycogen which is basically sugar and you've used that for your energy you're depleted and you need to replenish that energy and fill those muscles back up. So that's why you use simple carbs. A lot of people like to just simply make a post-workout protein shake because it's simple, it's easy, you just mix it up usually with water and then you can drink it and you're good. So what a lot of people like to do is get a whey protein and then mix a sugar like dextrose with it and then take that. You can also take maybe a banana and blend that up or eat a banana and a protein shake. However you want to do it, simple carbs are fruits, they are sugar, dextrose, honey, things like that. It's recommended that you probably don't want a fruit that is really high in fiber because fiber tends to slow things down. That's the the best recommended course of action for post-workout. Simple carbs and fast-acting protein, usually whey protein. If you're taking 40 grams of carbs, you take 20 grams of protein. Some protein workout shakes come already with carbs, with fast acting carbs for that purpose. So you can get those or you can mix your own. Now I've seen great results with other types of combinations. I've, I've gotten results by just eating food, typically natural foods. So if I go and I work out I've, I come home and I eat just wheat bread and milk. You know, wheat bread has slow digesting carbs, a lot of fiber, but I still saw results. But I'm thinking now that I've switched over, that I've made the change, that I've consistently done it to where I'm taking the fast acting carbs, the simple carbs from the fast acting protein. At the same time, the results are better. So the results can be good, they can be great, they can be the best. It all depends on what you want to do. And that depends on optimizing your nutrition and optimizing your workouts. So take advantage of the post-workout period. Try to get your meal, your post-workout meal in 30 minutes after working out. That way body can replenish those nutrients right away. Try out different variations of your post-workout nutrition. Let me know how it goes. Let me know how I can help. 
Thank you for watching.